絶対に負けられねえ。はあなたが今、wow, Sam、you're really milking the fuck out of that video, huh? You think you can just make a part two, slap part two onto the fucking title, and you're gonna get another 40k views? It doesn't work like that. Look, I know it doesn't work like that. That's not why I'm making this video, though. I can really care less if it blows up again. I have to delete a lot of comments, because they were just attacking people, just to attack people. I think Saitama would win. Yeah, I hope your fucking family dies. Like, what the? What is wrong with you guys? You guys need to cool it, alright? Just chill out. I'm, I'm just making this video to more go in depth on my decision i guess you could say because i i realized that yeah i didn't go in depth i'm really i'm really not gonna be going that much in depth if you want somebody to go in depth go watch some fucking i don't know some 20 minute video on some nerd like breaking down each character every single or you could just watch the fucking series and decide for yourself either either one is fine some dragon ball z fans brought up some good points and uh there's a lot of points and i did miss a lot of stuff i will admit that because at first it wasn't really a good argument for me it was like yeah uh one punch man would just punch him immediately and he'd fucking die i guess that's not really the case i mean people are acting like i've never seen the series before even though i stayed in the video that i fucking watched it like a thousand times the argument for a lot of dragon ball z fans almost every single dragon ball z fans is training and the universe bust um those two are t fucking retarded him having more training means absolutely nothing it just means that saitama he's already god level without doing shit so that's kind of out the window like the training was just stupid like i kept on saying training comments like yeah, he, he, he trains more than him. So, uh, yeah, Goku wins. Like, what? how does that fucking matter? Like, there's some people... that I think the whole argument is dumb. I, don't, I feel like it doesn't need to be explained to the average, like, person that's on this. Like, because I feel like not a, a lot of people bring it up, but it wasn't really, like, a valid point in any arguments that I've seen. Because it just doesn't make any type of sense. It's just like... All right, let's say you're on a fucking team, okay? You know, you go to practice every single day. You work your ass off. You're working harder than the fucking guy in the corner over there not doing shit. But he's just fucking good at what he does. You know, he's always getting played time. You're sitting down on a bench. Just because you practice more than him doesn't mean you're better than him at the sport. It doesn't mean shit. He could just be good at the sport just to be good at it. You think Saitama's good at anything but punching? Fuck no. The creator himself said he sucks at sports. He sucks at running. He sucks at this. Saitama can only punch pretty much. And you we know what he can do he's a fucking insane so i think the tr whole training thing is stupid and as for the um universe bust on goku oh my i kept on seeing these goddamn comments it made me want to shoot myself on the goddamn forehead it was so fucking retarded i'm so sorry it, it doesn't make any type of sense it's like they didn't even watch the show thoroughly did they not see that sparring it, it didn't take three goku punches it took three goku and beerus punches connected sparring they had to hit each other it was the force of those two gods two gods not one god two it took beerus and goku no they did it three times and on the fourth it was gonna bust and i've been hearing a lot of rumors everywhere i know rhyme style said in his video the other day and i've been getting comments on my video just saying this that the creator of one punch man said that his punches are as strong as half the big bang that means two of his punches can bust the universe if two of his punches can bust the universe and four of beerus and goku's can that that just means he's even more stronger two full power punches and he could bust the universe i don't know if that's a rumor or not i tried googling it i couldn't find anything on it but like that's why i'm not really sticking to that as my main point they must have seen something i haven't seen because i don't know if that's true or not either it doesn't really matter which i don't fucking care so back to the training i wanted to add i forgot one more thing about the training a lot of people have been bringing up gravity training in the latest episode and this is in the episode I, i'm bringing up anime right now because the normal viewer i guess you could say watches anime the normal viewer that's viewing that viewed that video or is viewing this video right now hasn't even watched one punch man and they're they already fucking commented saying goku would win so it, it doesn't make a difference i might as well just explain it in the latest episode of one punch man saitama survived black hole gravity saitama was able to survive to fucking survive like he was literally scratching his cheek at a black hole gravitational pull from that goddamn octopus squid whatever the fuck that thing was he was he literally just lifted his arm scratched his seat like what the fuck is this you have anything better than this and the dude is just sitting there like this is black hole gravitational force like he should be fucking like ripped to shreds right now i mean i think that should just be flown out the window the whole training shit just fly that out the window it's dumb all right it's over so 
Saitama, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, he is written very good. He's written to be funny and to be a parody of these anime characters and really kind of just make fun of them, but he is written good. And so that, that has been the latest argument. The universe bust. Everybody has just been ignoring Beerus. I can't get over that. Nobody has brought up. I saw one guy. One guy. About the whole Saitama thing that he can't one punch people. Alright, so there's only been two enemies where Saitama had to punch twice. Boros and Goro, whatever the fuck that guy's name was. And even with that argument, like, well, yeah, one punch, man. Uh, he couldn't even destroy. Yeah, it took up two punches. Like, do you realize how fucking stupid you sound when you say that? Uh, there's nothing else with Goku. And as for the whole god part, how I've been seeing a lot of comments about, like, well, Goku's a god. What the fuck? What is that? Who fucking cares? Stop bringing that up. That doesn't even make sense. So let's go ahead and uh, break down this whole video, I guess you could say. Saitama's training is equivalent to Goku training, but except he has to do less because I guess he's fucking better or something. According to a lot of sources, his serious punches are as powerful as half the Big Bang. So two punches equals universe bust. Done. Black hole gravity versus Saitama. So we know Saitama could survive more gravity than Goku. That's a fact. It's over. It's done. He has he's better he's just stronger guys i i don't fucking know what to tell you 